Gone are the days when all a guy needed to do to look smart was rock up with a black suit, white shirt, and a colorful tie. Nope. Nowadays, guys are making more of an effort to look good because they understand that looking good is crucial in making the right first impression. No surprises then that according to a report by intelligence firm L2, men's wear revenues will soon surpass women's wear revenues. Hello, I'm Puti Komo. Join me as we get up close and personal with some of South Africa's intriguing personalities where we get to find out how the story of their lives is wrapped up in the clothes that they wear. Welcome to Skip Power of Five. Whether it's dressed in the nines in a tuxedo when he belts out a ballad or kicking the ball around in his tracksuit, this singer-songwriter has a signature style which is the epitome of effortless cool. A warm welcome to the suave Chad Simon. Thank Chad, you, welcome. Percy. Thank you. <laughs> now, menswear has really exploded in the past couple of years. How do you feel about the attention that menswear is getting. I love it. I think it's, it's, you know, more and more men are starting to pay uh, more attention to themselves and it wasn't the same way many, many years ago and I enjoy seeing it, you know. I know that, you know, men do tend to shop differently to women. I don't know, is shopping a chore for you guys? Look, I think for me personally, I, I, I don't go to the store often and when I do go, I know I make time to go and I know what I'm going for. When you understand your sizing and understand the way you want your clothes to fit, it becomes easier. When you don't, I think you end up spending more time and it becomes a chore. In a nutshell, how would you describe your style? I would describe it as a classic with a touch of playfulness. As you said, you're a guy, you just know what you want, you know yeah. who you are. How would you say that clothes that you wear are an expression of who you are? Uh, for me, I have two sides to the way I get dressed. I have day to day and then I have being on stage. So it, it, it almost sums up the two sides of my personality. Now tell me the truth, Chad. Yeah. Who does your laundry? Well, I share it. I share it with uh, my partner. We share the responsibility. Just to know that you're telling me the truth. Yeah. What do you do? I separate it uh, depending on, on what I'm doing. And then I put it in the washing machine and then I wait. I spin it one more time and then I hang it out. In the same breath, tell me, what are the three staples that every gent should have in their wardrobe? In my opinion, I think uh, you need a, a good pair of boots. Then uh, I, I'm a big fan of a good, good classic leather jacket. And then um, number three, I'm probably going to go for a, uh, a good denim jacket. Here's a little game we like to call Don't Skip a Beat. Okay. Five random questions. Tell me the first thing that comes into your mind. Okay. Style goddess, Rihanna or Beyonce? Beyonce. It was a tough one. I just came to my mind. Wine item from your bestie that you would steal? It would be the boots from, from Mario. Mario's boots. Yeah? Yeah, Mario's boots. He has these boots. I see. Oh, they're nice. You die for. Yeah. Okay, okay. One item of clothing you can't live without. Black t-shirt. I thought you were going to say boots. If you had to wear one color for the rest of your life, <laughs> I think I know the answer to this. What would it be? I'm going to go with olive, eh? Never. Yeah. I would have never thought that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I do probably wear more black than olive, but to answer the question, if I could, I'd probably wear more olive. Chad, you have been a great guest. Proof that real men know the true value of their clothes. As a token of appreciation, Skip would like to gift you this beautiful basket. Inside are five items that show the five signs of clothes aging. Awesome. All of that can be scientifically prevented by using Skip. So I'm gonna ask you to try and guess. Okay. Right, what okay. these five signs of aging are. It's another game. Yes. Let's go. Oh, you're such a game guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's socks. Um, that would probably be uh, bubbling and, and yeah, bubbling. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. A towel. A towel. Roughness. Yes. From the beach, from the ocean. Yes, yeah, 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 you got yeah, it. Yeah. You want it to be as fluffy as possible. Yeah. A shirt. A uh, white shirt would probably be uh, stains uh, and maintaining the, 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 the brightness of it, yeah. And then this colorful scarf. Okay, that would probably be uh, colors, maintaining the colors. Absolutely, yeah. oh my gosh, where has this guy been? <laughs> 
And now for some exciting news bound to put a skip in your step. Skip is giving away a year's supply of skip products to five lucky people, including a personalized gift, much like the one we gifted Chad. All you have to do is sign up to the Cleanypedia newsletter and you could have a chance to win this amazing prize. Thank you so much for logging on and watching this amazing episode of Skip Power of Five. I hope it has inspired you to preserve your individuality by keeping your clothes new for longer with Skip.